So Apple is really serious about console level gaming on the iPhone. And we saw the announcement of Resident Evil Village during the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max launch. Got to play the game, the game's available now. It plays really well, it looks really good. But that's not where they're stopping. There are more games coming out. And I got to check out more games coming to the iPhone that I think you guys are going to love. Now, the first one I want to talk about is The Division Resurgence. This is a mobile first game. It takes place basically before the original Division series and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It feels and looks like a console game on your iPhone. Now, control-wise, you have touch controls on here which you can use, but you can also use a controller like the Backbone controller and it plays very well. Honestly, I was impressed with the gameplay and I was there for quite a bit of time. Now, you can continue this and play it on your iPad as well and on the iPad, it also takes advantage of the bigger display and also the, of course, the M chip processor on there, giving you a very, very smooth gaming experience from what I experienced here at the, uh, at the showcase. Now, another game that I got to check out but I couldn't really record because it was a really early beta is Death Stranding. Now, it's available on the Mac, but you, you will be getting it on the iPhone and it looks really good. But for me personally, it's all about Resident Evil 4. I remember that's a game that I got on my GameCube way back when, when it first came out and that game was awesome and it looks really good on the iPhone and the iPad and the Mac. Now you would be able to get the game across all three systems with just one purchase. So basically within the Apple ecosystem, you can get yourself one game that goes all across the board. Now how does it feel playing on the iPhone? It's very smooth, it feels really solid graphically, it looks great on the iPhone, and of course the controls with your backbone controller or controller like that uh, just felt really smooth. Now playing it on the iPad, it felt like another step up there again. It's got the bigger real estate and I can see myself playing this on the road quite a bit. It looked nice, it played really well, and graphically, yeah, it's up there. It is really up there. Plus, you can also continue that experience on your MacBook as well. So that is something that I think takes this experience into a very different level where you can do it across your devices. So say, for instance, you know, you're at home and you have like a Mac at home. You can play on your iMac if you want to because it has an M-series chip there, the, the new uh, uh, iMac 24-inch. Uh, or on your MacBook uh, M3. You can also play on your iPad, your M-series iPad, as well as also in your iPhone. So think about that. That is an impressive spread of these games. Now, there'll be more games like this. Resident Evil 4 comes out on December 20th. So if you guys want me to cover this game, let me know. But if you want me to cover more console level games coming on the iPhone and the Apple ecosystem, I'm here for it. Because you know, guys, I love my games. So. Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let me know what games you want to see next that is console level on, in the Apple ecosystem and especially on the iPhone. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.